What we saying guys, welcome to my Bardock Rejumps Made Easy video where I break down the mechanics of Bardock's Rejumps. As always, please like, comment, subscribe and let's get into it. So what you want to do is a 5H and then delay your super dash so your opponent's character is as close to the ground as possible. And then do 6-6JM or forward forward JM and do a JL immediately after that. Once you land, use the momentum to do an up forward straight into a JL and follow that up with a JLL, J2H, JLL into a 214L. This rejump has essentially the same start as the last one, but the difference is, is that you want to delay the JL after the up forward, so that you can do a side switch. Continue the combo with a JLL, J2H, JLL into a 214L or your desired ender. For this rejump, you want to do a super dash into a 66JM into JL and then up forward and slightly delay your JL to get the side switch. After that, do JLL into the J2H and get your launcher. I tend to delay my follow-up super dash to allow me to get closer to the corner, so I can go for a 214M ender which gives me better frame advantage after the knockdown. This rejump is essentially the same, however after the JLL, you do a J236M to get a ground bounce and continue the combo however you wish. For this rejump, you'll need to start with a 2M into a 5M and then JM into a J236M. After the ground bounce, you want to do a JS into a forward dash and then 5LL, 2M, 5M and 236M. You need to let the opponent's character drop slightly and then connect with a JM just before you reach the ground. Use the momentum and press JL into JLL, J2H, JLL and finally finish it off with a 214L. That's it for the video guys. If there's any other character that you want me to cover their rejumps, leave a comment below. As always, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. Safe.